Hi everyone, my name is Jean and the name of my channel is Jean Home Decor and more. Welcome back. Welcome if you are new. I am so happy that you have stopped by my channel to check out what I'm up to. So today is September the 8th. And I am now here in Texas. I'm in the DFW, Dallas, Fort Worth area. So today is another quick and easy meals. And I am so happy to be back, you guys. Now, I'm not at my final stop for where we live, but I had to come on here today to share a recipe with you guys. So, I'm trying this recipe, Authentic New Orleans Gumbo. So you want to check this recipe out for yourself. It looked pretty good to me, so I thought we would try it. So I'm going to skim one down, and this, this is what it looks like, okay? It looks really, really good, doesn't it? And it says tastes better from scratch and you're not lying because when you make recipes from scratch they definitely taste better and i'm going to make this today and i'm going to put mine over top of jasmine rice because i love rice and i love jasmine rice so we're going to first start off by making a roux although i am not quite ready to do that yet and i'll show you that in a few and we're gonna uh, use some andale sausage and we're gonna chop up some veggies, right? And after we, you know, we're gonna stir up that roux until it gets nice and dark according to the recipe because I'm not the person who cooks from scratch and use my own recipes. I'll be honest, I have to use other people's recipes, but I love to do that because, you know, it gives you a chance to try other things that have been proven, tried, and true, I guess. So anyway, once I put all of the ingredients in, which you can see chicken, the andale sausage, and some shrimp, this is what it's gonna be looking like. Doesn't that look good, you guys? Ooh, that looks good. So let's scroll on down. It has make-ahead storing and freezing instructions. Look at that. And so, what we have here is this serves 10 people, they say. I hate when these pop-ups come in here. This serves 10 people. And so now we're going to get into, uh, let me scroll on down. This is what you need. So I'm not going to put this in the, you know, well, I'll put, I'll put it in, the, um, in my description box below. But this is what you need for your roux. This is what you need for your gumbo. And I have all of these things. I picked them up yesterday morning. And it tells you how to make your roux. Now this is interesting, cause look, check this out guys. You have to cook this on medium low heat, stirring constantly for 30 to 45 minutes. Now they say this takes patience because you have to stir it constantly. And you're gonna, you wanna stir it till it gets uh, like a dark chocolate. And it has um, like a, you know, like a cookie dough-like consistency and you can't let it burn. That's what they're saying here. Now I sent my husband to get some gravy brown while he was running out on his errands. I said, can you stop off and get some gravy brown? Because that's just what I like, okay? So then you brown the sausage, you cook the vegetables and broth, you add your meat, which is the chicken, sausage, and shrimp. And then you taste and serve, okay? All right, so let's go down to the nutrition. Here's the nutrition. All right, so let me let you see where I am so far. So I had to show you guys this. I wasn't going to come back and start these, my quick and easy meals until October because that's when we plan to uh, be at our next final stop. But I had to show you guys this one. So I took a rotisserie chicken. I, you know, I pulled all the meat off that I could get off. And I, you know, got that chopped up. I had my andouille sausage. sausage. 
and I have that chopped up and I have to, you know, I'll be ready to um, brown that. And as you can see, I've started chopping up my bell pepper, celery, onion, green uh, onions, and then I'll do, um, I'll have a couple of two or three cloves of garlic that I'm going to chop up, okay? So again, that's what we have here. We have our green pepper, celery, onion, green onion, and a couple of cloves of garlic. So that's what I have going on here. So let me just say this, guys. I don't have my ring camera because everything is in storage so that's another reason why i haven't been doing videos but i missed you guys but i haven't been doing videos because i don't have the proper equipment so i don't have really anything to sit this up on maybe let me see if i can sit it up on the top sit it leaning up the camera up on top of these bananas and i'm gonna go ahead and finish chopping this up now since it serves 10 this might be all the veggies that I need, but if not, when you taste and serve, I might come back and do some tweaks, add a little bit more. Um, my family doesn't like a lot of oniony uh, flavor. They like some onions, but not overwhelming. So, you know, that's why it's always good to add the green pepper and celery, because you get the flavor of the other veggies, okay? Now, again, this little combo right here, they consider this the trinity of cooking, okay? They said this combination right here, green pepper, celery, and onions, can't make anything taste good, okay? So hang on in there with me. I'm going to finish chopping up these green onions. And plus, I don't want to make this video long, so hold on. Okay, guys, it's Sunday. I got my bonnet on. <laughs> This is some way to come back, right? This is some way to come back. But anyway, look, I'm going to chop up these onions. And so let's get started. Keep watching. Okay, so I'm finishing up. I already started. I have two little uh, bunches of green onion. And I think that might be enough for that. So I'm just going to that into my pan and another thing guys um, we are in a furnished apartment right now and I don't really have all the things that I typically use which is another reason why I haven't done any videos so um but I had to do this one I had to show you guys this one because this is um, this is a nice recipe and I'm just taking off the, um, the skin off the uh, garlic. So how's everybody been doing? I miss you guys. I hope you all are doing well. Your families are doing well. And I am so happy that summer is over. We have been here in Texas since July. And oh my gosh, when we left Maryland, it was hot. It was definitely hot when we left. I feel sorry for those movers because they had to pack up. It must have been almost 100 degrees that day. But when we came down here, one day it was 107. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a different type of heat here. Woo! <laughs> I think I'll be in, in the house in the summertime, guys. I will be in the house. But... Okay, guys, I um, am browning some blue bonnet to uh, brown this sausage in. And I picked this pot, this a frying pan up from Walmart. Bad move. I hate frying pans from Walmart. The handle is already, look at this, El Cheapo. So that's what I'm talking about. I don't have the tools that I normally use. So when I leave here, this frying pan is going in the trash. Okay, keep watching. So I really just want these to brown on both sides according to the recipe. Turn it down. 
And I'm doing this before I make the roux, just so that I have, because this is the first time I'm making it. So what I want is to have everything uh, done, so I'll be ready to rock and roll when it's time for me to put all the ingredients in. And I still have to get the shrimp out of the freezer. And I bought pre-cooked shrimp because that's easy, and I'm about doing things easy. Okay, so hold tight, I'm gonna brown these and flip them. Okay guys, one more thing. This is so important. I miss my buddies. Quick and easy meals are hosted by the Grace Life DIY Home Decor, or she may be, may be posting them on Simply Grace Lifestyle and Deborah Cabasa Home Living. And I also know now we have another host, Debbie Bubbles. So I am so happy to be hosting along with these ladies. They have some awesome recipes. I've seen what they have put out. And you guys have stopped, have to stop by their channels and check them out. They are fire. So that's coming along, coming along, keep watching. So as you can see, they're browning up really nice. Um, now you might say, well, why did you do them in um, blue bonnet instead of, you know, smart balance, cholesterol free? Cause usually I do use that, but I thought that I would use this. Now I'm gonna drain all this butter off of here, but I did that for flavor because in my opinion, sometimes butter just actually gives you a little bit more flavor, the blue bonnet. So um, I'm gonna drain this all off, you know, cause I definitely don't want it to be greasy. But this is, you know, it just, it's more flavorful. And I just wanted to address that in case you guys are wondering. Okay, keep watching. So you hear that guys, he couldn't find, he couldn't find the kitchen bouquet. I'm making my room, he couldn't find it. Oh well. The people in the Walmart didn't know where you find kitchen bouquet. Good grief, right? So I'm constantly stirring this. They said for 30 to 45 minutes, so that's what I'm doing. Have it on high, high on medium love. So I'll come back and let you see how this works out. Okay, guys, this is definitely a labor of love. You can see the roux is getting darker. I did add a smidgen of Worcestershire sauce and some. Italian seasoning. So I am constantly stirring. And as you can see, it's getting darker. It's supposed to get thick in its consistency. And this is what makes your gumbo really, really good. So I'm not going to keep you on here. I just wanted to let you see where we are. But you can see the consistency of that. It's getting thicker. Okay? Keep watching. Okay, I've added eight cups of chicken broth. So I have one regular chicken broth, and then over here I have a low sodium chicken broth. I added um, two tablespoons of the Creole seasoning, or sorry, Cajun seasoning. That's what I have here. And <clears throat> so that's looking pretty good. Now this is not quick, and I wouldn't necessarily say it's easy, because you have to stand up here and constantly stir the roux 
to get it the consistency and color that you need to make this gumbo flavorful, flavorfully delicious, okay? So it's not quick or it's easy, but it is definitely going to be good. So now I'm going to start um, following the recipe for adding the veggies. So I'll bring you back, okay? Keep watching. Okay, I have all my veggies stirred in. So now we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I've added everything in. I added all my chicken in, my sausage, and shrimp. And I'm going to put a top on this and kind of let this simmer. And it'll thicken up some. And then I'll make some jasmine rice to go along with it and some Brand's biscuits, and that will be our dinner for today. But this is, and tomorrow, right, and the next day maybe. Whatever we don't eat, I can freeze it. But this is my gumbo. Okay, for watching, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Stop by the Grace Life DIY Home Decor, Simply Grace Lifestyle, Deborah Cabasa Home Living and Debbie Bubbles channels. Check them out for some awesome recipes. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay? Bye-bye.